Welcome back. Before our break, we were talking about nannies and caregivers, all the things they do to our sons in our absence, and how we as parents should try and train them to make them feel homely. For any questions and suggestions, comments too, do hit us up on our official Facebook page, which is Aviation TV Kenya. Our Twitter handle is at Aviation TV Kenya. You can also get me on my official Twitter handle, which is Leona Asiko. Reverend, mm -hmm. in this world of Skype, Facebook, Twitter, and all that, yes. technology is really affecting how parents mm -hmm. and their sons communicate. Mm -hmm. How can parents bridge this gap? Wow. They say information is power. Yes. And uh, <clears throat> you see not all information that uh, our children read from the Internet and those uh, um, social media that can be helpful and not all that can be harmful. It's a duty of every parent to one sit down with his son or even a daughter mm -hmm. to educate on the effect of the media today. Today, yes. What are we fighting in some of these houses? Especially the, these families who are well to do. Well off, yes. We find them buying all sorts of gadgets, all sorts of internet, I mean the IT, IT uh, equipment, phones, the iPhones, the what, with internet. Mm. So this child can start as early as um, baby class to know how to use the, this thing. the, the gadgets. But there are even baby toys, like yes. nowadays there are baby laptops, yes. baby iPads. So they, they, are, they have information. Now, when, you know, we talk of the time we give to our children, children, remember? Now, we might be able to, I mean, we might contradict what Jan said and what we feel when we find also now the children are not having time with us. Yeah. Because we buy all this. So the child is very busy here. Eh? The parent comes, wants them to talk to his son, but the son is busy with whatever, whatever equipment you bought, That's whatever so toys. Because I remember an instance where I was in a restaurant mm -hmm. and there was a big Chinese family. Yes. And everybody in that family had their iPad. So they are silent. Even and it was a dinner, a family dinner, True. and the only communication they had was pass me the salt, pass me the ketchup. <laughs> that was it. During the dinner, where you're supposed to be bonding as a family, yes, everybody was busy on their iPad from the father to the smallest baby. Yeah, and you see, it's like diverting from our culture, yeah, where we would bring uh, young boys, young girls together and they would uh, socialize. Mm. But you see now they are socializing with the with the gadgets. With, with, the, with the gadgets. They are here, you want to talk to your child, the child does not talk. Mm. Who is the cause of this? Is it the child? The child never bought a single gadget. It is you, the parent, who did not see mm. the effect of what you are buying. Because you needed time. You needed to mentor this child. You needed to to at least pass on that button yes. of your culture to the, child. to the child. But you have again distorted that by buying this or this. So I would not concentrate on you because this one is more interesting than even talking to you. Mm. The, 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 their children will not learn even the, the psychology of their parents. That I can learn when my, my father is annoyed. And I would sweet talk my dad so that you not beat me up. Yes. Because I know my dad. I can read the temperaments of my dad. I, I, I know my mom so well. If she's annoyed, I would just go and hold <laughs> and hug her and tell mommy I'm so sorry. But here I'm concentrating the gadgets. Yes. So actually the failure is on us as the parents. As much as we would want them to learn all these 
I mean, with all these. Yeah. There is also that time that should be allocated like for it's this. Dinner time, let us have dinner as a family, all your phones yes. and your iPads should be away. Social time, the same, yeah. and they should be agreed upon by everyone. Yes. So your child, as he grows, he should know that there is time for us to socialize. Mm. There is time for us to go out. What was the need of me going with, out with you as my daughter or my son if we are going with the gadgets, yeah. carrying the bikes, <laughs> carrying everything? We were not going for that. We were going to do the swinging together, riding together. Yes. If it is mountain climbing together, we were not going so that you carry your own. Mm. We were going so that I can hold your hands if you want them to fall down yeah. as a father and I'm your son. So I would hold my father. And it is fun, you know. Yeah. If my mom wanted to fall down, she, she was fearing to, to swing. I would laugh and see, mommy is, mommy is so scared and so on. So we would have a lot to talk when we go out there. So again, it is the, the, responsibility, of, the responsibility of the parent to make sure that at least I, there are times that we keep them and rock them. Either in your bedroom, you lock them until the time that this child is supposed to, to work on them. Okay, so from but what you're yeah, saying, Reverend, yeah. mm -hmm. I think you mean that as you, you ca it's okay to buy these things for yes. the children, True. but also teach them to be responsible, that these mm -hmm. gadgets should not take over their lives, yes. should not overcome their relationships, yes. and their social life too. Yes, okay. and the other thing is... Uh, that we need also to be worried about is the effect of the gadgets. At what time, at what stage of life should I buy this? Okay. Like if you buy a gun, okay. it's a toy gun, yes? Yeah. And whether you put water or you put some bullets, but you're showing the child how to shoot. To shoot. Mm. And every time they would watch movies here, brutal movies, fights, mm. shooting, killing. Will this child ever realize that killing is bad? No. Now, if the child will not realize that killing is bad, at some point, he will go and buy his own gun from whatever. Yeah. Come with a gun and you... you you differ with, with your son, <laughs> and he feels that he's so annoyed. Like he saw on the movies, you just remove a gun and shoot you dead. Because shooting and killing has no effect mm. on him. Mm. There is no time that you sat down with your son or your daughter to tell him, I think these movies are not good. Me, I, I don't like them because this, these are lives that are killed. These are people that are Those killed. Are dying, yeah. People are dying. So, so at least this child would, would feel that the life is precious. But they are learning that life is not precious. That's why you, hear, you are hearing a lot of shooting around. Mm. The police shooting other policemen, police shooting everyone, everyone, in, the everyone streets, in the streets, thugs yeah. in the streets, you know, killing everyone. And he's so happy. <laughs> he's so happy doing it. It's like there is no preciousness in life. So again, it is us parents who do not teach, teach our children our children on this. Okay. Before or in the olden days, even in our time, we used to sit down, be taught on how to take care of our own things take care of the mother, the elderly, and so on. What time do we give to these children? Mm. Who will take care of you when you get home? Well, man will not. Remember that. Yeah. Man will not take you to hospital when you're sick. But a son who knows that my mom is important, my mom is my mom, and I carry blessings from my mom, given by God, through my parents, will come from all the way, you will drive or even fry, to come and take care of their ailing mom, yes. take her to hospital, be 
next to a bed, beside the bed, talking to the mother, talking to the father. But because we are not giving them enough time for that, they are only chatting, WhatsApp, <laughs> Twitter, so on. All the time, you see, this child is busy, busy, busy with the, with the gadgets. With the gadgets, yeah. This child will never learn how to take care of you. So it will be a disadvantage on your part okay. as a parent. Okay, yeah. thank you so much for that. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Sorry, just, just one minute. Okay. There are the programs again that they watch. Leave away now the movies and so on. There are some of the programs that you find, like there are songs that you find being sung. People are half naked and they are still dancing around. Because the parent will never comment on that, this child will think that. That Going is okay. naked is okay. is okay. Doing anything in that manner is okay, okay. because it is done by adults. Yeah. It is done by teenagers who are older than me. So even, even me, when I will reach that stage, I will have no problem. I will hold a girl at whatever point. Mm. I, I, can, I can you know swing her around yeah. without any problem because my mom never commented, my dad never, never commented. commented. So some of these comments that we may make are very, very useful. They may be resourceful uh, to your kid in as far as the growth. As the growth is concerned. Is concerned. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And in this era, I know when you walk on the streets or even in bookshops, mm -hmm. you see so many inspirational books. True. Ten ways to bring up your son. Mm -hmm how a mother can bond with her son, mm -hmm. how a father can bond with her son. And at the same time, mm -hmm. we as parents have our own intuition. Yes. So my question is, do you advise as parents to buy these books on how to raise our sons, or should we just follow our fatherly and motherly instincts? <laughs> I, I think th th this, this is an era in which every parent should not uh, be naive. We need to learn from other parents, from motivational speakers, from the writers of books, from counselors who have information. There is a lot of information that we do not know. Mm -hmm. And we must agree that we do not know so that we can learn. Therefore, getting a book that is written by somebody who knows, who has the knowledge, the knowledge in that area is very, very important. important. Learn about parenting, learn about the growth of that child. Because at what age is your son? At what age is your daughter? Is your daughter. Can you grow with that child so that you don't mess the child up or be messed up by the kid? Because some, some, sometimes we lay condemnations. By the way, even sometimes we cast them, these children. Because he's becoming so deviant. Mm. And you say, I have given you everything. It doesn't matter, my friend. You may give me everything, but you're not giving me information. Yes, that's You may true. give me education. You may buy me all the gadgets. You may buy me anything. I can sleep on anything. I can eat anything. I can Whatever I ask, I can I go anywhere. But no information. So this child is empty. No information. I can behave in any way I want. I can bring girls in the house as a son and even have fun with them. I can go to the, with them in, the, in my bedroom. I can throw parties. I can, yeah, I can throw everything all around. I can mess up myself. Mm. I, I can keep my, my, my room un, unkempt, you know. It, it has been sprayed with everything all over. So you see everything is displayed all over as you enter the room. What information are we giving mm. to, to these children? So it matters the kind of information that we get so that we can be able to pass it on again to these children. And that's how even these children will feel that in the day is so knowledgeable. Mom is so knowledgeable. Yeah. You can't. My father is, uh, is well informed. And that's how they are proud, even as they talk to other children. They say, hey, daddy, daddy, my dad, why? Very Don't you knowledgeable. Go? Yes, he's, he's, the, he's a guy that I like. Because turn to this, you know what yeah. you want. Because, again, you know, you are taking them through stages. 
that he is knowledgeable and he is able to pass on the to information. On the information. That, you know, if it is a thing, he knows that this is a puberty stage. Mm. 